All right, folks, this is the past paper portion from uh, September, December 2020 exams, right? And in this question, we will firstly let us look at the requirements for each of the three methods identified in the table, describe the methods for documenting internal control system, explain an advantage of using this method. So requirement A, we have for each of the methods identified in that table, which table, this one, as you can see, in, in, uh, narrative notes, flow charts, and questionnaires, right? And then we have to describe the methods for documenting internal control systems, and then we have to explain an advantage of using uh, these methods, right? Simply a knowledge-based question, for this part of the question, we don't even have to look at the scenarios. Now, simply uh, what we will do, we will move to our uh, word file and draft the answer. Here is our Word file and it's opening. Okay. Insert and just, here it is. And here it is. Uh, let me take, you know, let me take my keyboard and here it is. Narrative notes. Just a second. Yeah, here I will give the description heading. Sorry. Description heading and in the next column, I will give the advantage heading. Now, firstly, narrative notes. So narrative notes consist of a written description consist of a uh, written description of the system full stop that detail what occurs in the system what occur in the system at each stage and include details of any controls which operate at each stage. Now, what is the uh, advantage? They are simple to record. Column after discussion with staff. <clears throat> Members, comma. These discussions are easily written up as notes. They can facilitate understanding by all members. of the audit team former especially more junior members 
who might find alternative methods to complex. So far, so good. Now, next was the flow chart in the question. So flow charts are a diagrammatic illustration of the internal control system. Lines usually demonstrate the sequence of events and and the standard symbols are used to signify and standard uh, symbols are used to signify controls or documents now let us give the uh, advantage with flow charts it is easy to view the system in its entirety as it is all presented together in one diagram next advantage due to the use of standard symbols for controls it can be effective in identifying missing controls next one is questionnaires Internal control questionnaires which is known as ICQs or internal control evaluation uh, questionnaires right uh, which is also known as ICEQs contain a list of questions for each major transaction cycle that is icqs are used to assess whether controls exist where as icqs Whereas ICEQs assess the effectiveness, uh, uh, assess the 
effectiveness of the controls in place. Right now, uh, let me tell you the advantages. Questionnaires are quick to prepare. Quick to prepare, which means they are a timely method. For recording the system. If drafted thoroughly, they, they ensure that all controls present within the system. are considered and recorded. Hence, missing controls or deficiencies are clearly highlighted by the audit team. So far, so good. Uh, we are done with this requirement. And with that, uh, we have scored how much marks? Six marks. Now let us look at the next requirement. Which saying, in respect of the internal controls of Swift company, identify and explain seven controls which the auditor may seek to place reliance on and describe a test of control the auditor should perform to assess each of these key controls is operating effectively we will get 14 marks for these requirements okay right um, just like that i'm uh, looking at the next question All right later on let's move to the scenario now Now, as you can see, it is 1st July. It is 1st July 2005, Swift Company print books, which it sells online and supplies to retailers across the country. The company's year end is 30th September 2005. You are an audit supervisor with Token and Co preparing the draft audit program and reviewing the internal controls documentation in the preparation for the interim audit, okay? Payroll company, Swift company employs factory staff who are required to work a standard shift of eight hours per day, okay? No staff members are required to work over time. All staff members are paid monthly by bank transfer. The company has a human resource department which is responsible for setting up all new joiners and a payroll department which process wages and salaries. Okay, uh, until now, do, do we find anything? Not yet. When a new employee joins the company, the HR completes a joiner's uh, form which includes a unique employee number for each new employee. The joiner's form is then sent to the payroll department so the new employee can set up for payment. The unique employment number must be entered into the payroll system before the employee can be added to payroll on a monthly basis. An exception report relating to changes to payroll standard data is produced and reviewed by payroll manager who evidences this review. Okay. So we found the first uh, internal control weakness of that any changes to the payroll data is produced and reviewed by the payroll manager who evidences this review. All right, 
single person that means no segregation of duties over here the manager is preparing it and the manager is reviewing it it should be done by the financial controller or the cfo some higher person should uh, review uh, these changes but only uh, one person that is the payroll manager is doing so now employees are worked and their wages rate are preset into the system which automatically calculates the gross and net pay along with the relevant deductions and generates employee pay slips the payroll supervisor selects a sample of the pay slips reperforms the gross to net pay calculations and investigate any discrepancies the sample pay slips are then signed as evidence for this review okay now again no segregation of duties over here the payroll supervisor is selecting pay, payroll slips reperform the gross net pay calculation investigate any discrepancies if there is any and the, the sample pay slips are then signed as evidence for this review only by a payroll supervisor this should have been done by the reviewed by the uh, payroll manager we got the two so far then purchases uh the company has a purchasing department based at its head office when raw materials are required the production supervisor submits a requisition form to the purchasing department a multi part purchase order is generated and the purchasing manager authorizes all orders up to dollar 5000 orders over 5000 are authorized by purchasing director okay the warehouse team process goods received from suppliers they agree the good received uh, to the purchase order and check the quantity and quality of the goods on completion of those checks a goods received note is produced one copy of the grn is then signed and filled in the warehouse another copy of the grn sent to the finance department okay up okay we find that a uh, uh, company as a purchasing department based at its head office okay when the materials are required the production supervisor submit the requisition form to purchase department a multi part purchase order is generated and the purchasing managers only authorizing up to dollar 5000 okay and it is not reviewed by director orders over 5000 are authorized by purchasing director only all right whereas and again not reviewed by any other person for example it should be reviewed by C, uh, ceo of the company all right uh, the warehouse team process is good receive note supplier they agree goods receive note and check the quantity and quality of the goods on completions the grn is produced and signed and filled in the warehouse or another copy of the grn is sent to the finance department right no review by the head of purchase department it should be uh, reviewed by the purchase director a company ledger uh, clocks the purchase invoices in the batches of 20 into the purchase day book and utilizing control uh, control totals a batch control is completely for each set of 20 invoices a clerk signs to the evidence that uh, the checks undertaken again no review it should be done by the manager uh suppliers and there should be a recalculation that it should uh, be done by the a uh, correct amount and should be review, uh, reviewed by the finance director or the manager but it was not done yet supplier statement reconciliations are performed on monthly basis all differences are fully investigated and financial controller reviews these reconciliation invoices are paid in accordance with the supplier's credit terms the finance director authorizes the bank transfer payment list for suppliers having first agreed the amounts to be paid to supplier uh, supporting documentation and to having reviewed the list for duplicate payments okay so 
it is done on a monthly basis and differences are fully investigated and financial control reviews these reconciliations invoice are paid in accordance with the supplier's credit terms the finance director authorizes the bank transfer payment list for suppliers having first agreed the amounts to be paid to supporting documentation having reviewed the list of documents blah 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 now simply move to our worksheet now and insert three columns I have inserted now simply the second Just a second, folks. So, uh, what I required firstly, what I will do, I will give the two headings key controls and test control heading. Key control and test of control heading. Now, key control. Firstly, uh, Swift company has a separate human resource department, which is uh, responsible for setting up all new employees that's our one of the key controls now enter asking for the key control right so i will explain that why it is a key control now having a segregation of duties between hr and payroll department reduces the risk of fictitious employees being set up and also being paid. Now the test of control, uh, review the job descriptions. Of payroll and HR to confirm the split of responsibilities with regards to setting up new joiners. That's it now. Next uh, test of control or uh, key control. Here we have to explain the key controls and not the weaknesses. So all new employees are assigned assigned a unique employee number by HR. The payroll system is unable to process new joiners 
without the intrusion. of the unique employee number. Attempt to add a new joiner. To the payroll system. Without a unique employee number. The system should reject this addition. Okay. Now another. Another uh, key control on a monthly basis. An exception report of changes to payroll standing data is produced and uh, reviewed by the payroll manager. Now tell what will happen with this key control. This ensures that any unauthorized Amendments to standing data are identified and investigated on a timely basis so that the data used when the payroll is run is valid and accurate <clears throat> next test of control select a sample of monthly exception reports and review for evidence Review for evidence of uh, review for evidence of review and follow up of any unexpected changes by the payroll manager. Right, so far so good. One, two, three. Now the fourth one. So far we got uh, two, four, so six, marks, right? Now the fourth one. The payroll supervisor selects a sample of pay slips and recalculates the gross to net by uh, pay calculations. compares the results to the output from the payroll system and investigate 
any discrepancies. Now, what will ha happen with it? This reduces the risk. that the automated system generates errors uh, during the payroll processing. Any errors during the payroll processing any errors would be identified on a timely basis to prevent wages being over or underpaid. Now the test of control. Review the monthly pay slip samples. Sampled by the payroll supervisor for their signature for evidence the review of calculations has been undertaken. So far, so good. Uh, I hope you get it in here. Okay, now, uh, further, what we, uh, we are done with the phone or the fifth one. Purchase orders. Up to dollar five thousand. Are authorized by the purchasing manager and above dollar five thousand by the purchasing director. This ensures that goods are only purchased goods are only purchased which are required by Swift company and relate to genuine business expenses authorization limits Agree this to the appropriate signature on the approved signatories list. Five done. No, the sixth one. Their warehouse department agrees. Agrees the receipt of goods from suppliers to a copy of the purchase order and confirms 
the quantity and quality. of the goods received and signs the goods notes uh, that is goods received notes grn to evidence the checks this ensures that swift company is not recording liabilities and subsequently paying for the receipt of inferior quality goods or for goods it did not order achcha okay so during the now my test of control right during the interim audit observe observe the warehouse department when receiving goods to understand the level of checks being undertaken so for how many we, uh, we got 2 to 4 uh 6 8 10 uh, that means we need two more marks bingo purchase invoices are logged into the purchase day book in batches utilizing control totals not tell why it's a you know key control utilizing control totals ensure both completeness and accuracy over the input of purchase invoices if the invoices are not are not all input completely and accurately payables may be misstated may be misstated now Test of control. Select a sample of control. Total sheets and review for evidence of control totals being utilized and the clerk. signature that's it uh, that's how you need to write draft the answer just look at to the scenario find out uh, the main thing from the scenario and connect it uh, you first what i did 
I give the key controls, then I give the reason why it's a key control, and simply then I uh, wrote the test of control in which it was simply, as you can see, select sample of uh, total sheets and then review during the interrupted, what observe, authorization limits, agree this to appropriate signature, simply then review monthly pay slips. As you can see, then select a sample of monthly exception reports and review for evidence. So simple, it's very simple, right? Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me uh, on WhatsApp or in the comments. Take care, bye-bye.